Hi everyone, in this lesson we will be talking about the DAISYS method of performing the osmotic fragility test. The first thing you need to do is defibrinize your blood. For this procedure, you will need a flask with glass or silica beads. Use venous blood collected in a syringe. Gently place the blood into the flask by allowing it to flow down the sides. After, securely cover your flask and mix in a figure of 8 motion. Continue to do this until clots have formed around your glass beads. After, obtain an aliquot and place it in a glass shoe. Next, gather the materials you will need. Glass test tubes labeled from 1 to 12, our defibrinated blood sample, a 1% sodium chloride stock solution, distilled water, an automated pipette, and of course our pipette tips. Next, prepare your tubes using this guide. Our goal is to have a decreasing concentration of sodium chloride from tubes 1 to 12. Here we are demonstrating the preparation of a 0.85% concentration of sodium chloride. This should be the concentration in your tube number 1 as well as your blank. After you have placed the appropriate amount of sodium chloride stock solution and distilled water into all your various tubes, we are now ready to dispense our blood. Place 50 microliters of defibrinated blood in each of the test tubes, as well as a test tube with only distilled water. Make sure to mix the blood in each test tube and change tips after every tube. Once you have dispensed blood into all the tubes, allow them to stand for 30 minutes at room temperature. Then, place all your tubes into a centrifuge. Make sure that the tubes in the centrifuge are balanced. Centrifuge the tubes at 2000 RPM for at least 2 minutes. After, 
Carefully take out the tubes from the centrifuge. Make sure not to dislodge any sediment found on the bottom of the tubes. You should be able to see a varying gradient of hemolysis in your tubes. Next, transfer the supernatant of each tube into new labeled tubes. Next, read the absorbance of the different supernatants at 540 nanometers using a spectrophotometer. Use the 0.85% sodium chloride solution without blood as your blank. After, read the absorbance of the rest of the supernatants. Next, compute for the percent hemolysis using this equation. The absorbance of a tube X minus the absorbance of the tube with 85% sodium chloride over the absorbance of the tube with 0% sodium chloride minus the absorbance of the tube with 0.85% sodium chloride and multiply the whole thing by 100. Here are the normal values for this test. Note that 50% hemolysis should start to occur at 0.4% sodium chloride and total hemolysis should occur at 0.3% sodium chloride. Make sure to watch our other video for a more in-depth discussion on the clinical significance of these values. Here you can see the osmotic fragility curve. Take note that curve B is the usual curve for normal erythrocytes. Shifts in the curve to the left or the right may indicate erythrocyte abnormalities. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this.